of antibodies to acid back. So, uh, to make this long story short, I shall just uh, point out that we have compared the two theories, the autoimmune theory with the prime theory, uh, over about 15 different points. Uh, the prime supporters say antibodies to bacteria not present in BSC. Well, you already see that antibodies to acetobacter bacteria are present in BSC. The prionistas suggest that prions are infectious agent causing BSC. We are saying that prions are normal breakdown products. They are harmless breakdown products of bra damaged brain tissue. The prion supporters say BSC brain homogenates when injected into experimental animals produce BSC. We say BSC brain homogenates when injected into normal animals will produce experimental allergic encephalomyelitis, which is the disease discovered by Pasteur 120 years ago. The prion people say infectious BSC particles are the prions in the muscles and the meat of affected animals. We say the infectious BSC particles consist of fragments of acinetobacteria present in the MBM feeds given to the cows since the MBM contain fecal material. Prion agents are resistant to 120 degrees centigrade. Well, that's not surprising, since proteins are resistant to 120 degrees centigrade. Otherwise, we couldn't eat steak, which is <coughs> fried at 400 degrees centigrade. The prion theory cannot explain why about half a dozen of Aryan CJD patients were vegetarians. The autoimmune theory states that vegetarian CJD had been infected by Acinetobacter bacteria. The prime theory states that epidemic of ear and had to be expected. We're suggesting the autoimmune theory states that there will be no epidemic of variant CJD, and so far there isn't any. The prime theory states eating meat is dangerous. The autoimmune theory states eating meat, provided it's been hygienically prepared, I don't want acetobacter on the outside, is safe and has always been safe. <coughs> the prime theory states that culling of cattle was necessary. 5 million cattle were culled, we're saying that this is a waste of money. The prime theory cannot explain why there is more variant CJD in Scotland when BSC was greatest in the south of England. Since there is more MS in Scotland than England, it follows that there will be more variant CJD in Scotland. And if I can uh, interpret the symptoms of American figures, there is more multiple sclerosis in Minnesota than in Texas, there's more MS in Scotland than in England, and in the southern hemisphere, there is more MS in Tasmania and New Zealand than there is in Queensland. It's seven times difference in a genetically homogeneous Anglo-Celtic population. And the only way we could explain these results in multiple sclerosis is that there are more winter infections in MS patients where their uh, nasal discharges are contaminated by Acinetobacter. And when you make antibodies to Acinetobacter, you will produce multiple sclerosis. Injection of growth hormone preparation produced CJD in children. We say in injection of growth hormones, which contain brain antigen, uh, caused experimental allergic encephalomyelitis. The prime theory cannot explain why the highest antibody teeters should be in the gut immune system, the IgA. The autoimmune theory ex readily explains this because it's the MBM that contained the material uh, which was responsible for evoking an autoimmune response. The prion theory cannot explain why the disease only occurs in the brain since prions are present in all organs. All nucleated cells contain prions. The autoimmune theory can readily explain this because acinetobacter contains sequences resembling brain tissues. The prion theory proposes that scrapie is caused by prion. We're suggesting that scrapie is caused by acinetobacter bacteria present in the environment of sheep and goats. And the prion theory is not compatible with current concepts of molecular biology. The autoimmune theory is clearly compatible with molecular biology since we use it in AS, RA, and rheumatic fever. So these are the specific conclusions that are based on these studies. We're suggesting BSC is MS in cows. Meat has always been safe to eat. The cattle cull was unnecessary. There will be no CJD epidemic and scrapie and chronic wasting disease, which is quite common in the United States, in, uh, in uh, deer and elk in uh, Wyoming and Montana, are caused by acinetobacter antibodies. 
And finally, our key case conclusions, there are no prion diseases. There are only animal diseases such as BSC, scrapie, chronic wasting disease of deer and elks, uh, cats, fungiform and gephalopathy, and they all belong to the autoimmune disease group, group of diseases like AS and RA caused by molecular mimicry between external antigens and cell brain tissues. Thank you very much.